the NSA has announced that they have a new job position they're looking to fill. That would be the public relations position. I find that amazing. <laughs> they're not even trying to hide that they're looking to lie to you and spin shit at this point. Public relations position for the NSA. Public relations. Public relations. Look, I'm not a genius or anything, but I was under the impression that you only really need public relations when you're dealing with a private company. Because, oh, I don't know, if you're the government, what you're doing is not for profit, so why do you need a public relations department to tell people, well, uh, this is how you should think about the stuff that we're doing. Usually public relations is linked to advertising, like, you know, uh, whatever, Kellogg's or Coca-Cola or McDonald's, they have public relations departments and... Uh, if something happens, somebody burn their lips with the hot coffee or whatever, they try to settle out of court, and hey, hey guys, look, we did the right thing, us here at McDonald's, wink, wink, wink. So public relations, the idea, like a government position for public relations, you're paying for that. You're paying for that. Our tax dollars are funding that. Who decided that it's okay to have a public relations department for the NSA to spin stuff, to lie to us, to say, no, no, I know you guys are upset about the NSA, but don't be, because what they're doing is actually super awesome, and I'll explain why. It's incredible. They say, quote, the person will be the principal architect of external outreach designed to meet the president's expectations for greater transparency. So they're hiring a public relations person to increase transparency. Yeah, why do I doubt that? Of course, the hidden in the fine print of the ad that's looking for somebody to fill this position, the applicant needs to be, quote, familiar with military culture. Oh, military culture. It's funny how they're not looking for a constitutional expert or maybe a civil libertarian to fill the position. What are they looking for? You have to have been in the military and have some sort of background there. Why? Because we know that if you're in the military, what, what do they have to do in the military, the way it's structured? Obey orders. Be obedient. Whatever your higher-up says, you do. So the public relations person for the NSA, they're not looking for a free thinker. They're looking for somebody to go out there and toe the line and say, oh, when the government was spying on your sex pictures and then sending them back and forth to people in the office, in the NSA, don't worry about that. No big deal. Uh, they did it because they love the country? Oh, you're against it? Uh, we guess you love Al-Qaeda. Fall in line and listen to us. I mean, this is what they're looking for. They're admitting that it's like, hey, we'd like a minister of propaganda. We're trying to hire one. A anybody interested in it? Now, how much are they willing to pay? About $175,000. You see, uh, for positions like this, you have to pay a good amount. Why? You have to buy the loyalty of the person that gets the position. Because no doubt they're going to know some shit. And when they know some shit and they feel, ooh, this might be fucked up, they need to look at their paycheck and go, oh, okay, I guess I'll continue to toe the line because this is a metric fuck ton of money. So, let's remember what the NSA did. I know every time we discuss the NSA, I bring up this list, and you guys are so tired of hearing it. But it's so incredibly important to keep things in perspective and in context, and to know why I'm angry at the NSA, and all Americans that are paying attention are angry at the NSA. They spied on moderate Muslims, keyword moderate, as if they were terrorists. In fact, that was in an internal memo. They said, look, treat the moderate Muslims, even if we know they're moderate, like they're terrorists, and monitor everything they do. They spied on the game Angry Birds. They spied on Congress. They spied on World of Warcraft. They said, oh, well, we think the terrorists are communicating through World of Warcraft. Uh, were they? No, but they spied on it anyway. They spied on Xbox Live conversations. God only knows how many times they saw the word pwned. Again, they said, well, we think that there are terrorists who are doing this over here. Did they present any evidence that terrorists were communicating through Xbox Live? Uh, no, but they spied anyway. 
They looked at your porn searches, and the idea was to discredit radicalizers, as they put it. This way, if you get a little too much power, you r run for a political office, and you actually go after the establishment and powerful people, well, we know that you like Brazilian fart porn, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and release that to the public and discredit you, even though that doesn't weigh at all on your actual political beliefs. It's just your incredibly odd fetish that you'd be into. Uh, they also spied on ex-boyfriends and girlfriends, the Pope, the Vatican, French citizens, the leader of Brazil, the leader of Germany. They mimicked Google to get people to type shit in there and then they saved the searches. They uh, gave stolen information to the DEA. That might be the worst of all the things that they did, and there's a lot of bad shit that they did. But what they did is, remember, they originally said, well, it's all about terrorism, we're just trying to prevent terrorism. Now, did they prevent any terrorism? No, they didn't. But they say, oh, it's just, don't worry about it, we're doing it to protect you. And then, what ended up happening? We learned that they were taking the information, siphoning it off to the DEA, and the DEA would use that to crack down for things as minor as marijuana crimes, weed crimes, any drug crimes at all. So, they're blatantly violating your Fourth Amendment protection from unreasonable search and seizure. Uh, they also spied on candidate Obama before he was president. So why he's not more outraged over this, your guess is as good as mine. And of course, an internal audit found that they had about 2,776 violations in one year alone. So you can actually understand why it is they need a PR person, because their track record is beyond horrendous.